few times. I've heard a lot about Tafe. Round one. Tafe just looks like she enjoys the whole thing. She doesn't look any nerves at all. She looks cold when she gets to the ring. Izzy Wilkins looks big though, doesn't she, Izzy? She blows up this girl. She's definitely done a cut for this weight. Look at her. Looks very strong. Strong start from both girls. Nice little stinging kick there from Tafe. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, this one has all the makings of a really good fight that all the guys sitting backstage fighting later will be thinking these girls are laying it down. They're setting the bar, aren't they? Yeah. Wilkins always looks good when she fights. As, <laughs> yeah, as does Cooper. Good position on the clinch, locking the arm in from Wilkins. It's a good technique when you can pull the arm on the inside, it makes it very hard for him to get a balance to knee. She's keeping her there, testing out the clinch. Like I said, it's round number one, it's the feeling out process where people get their data collection in. And although Wilkins is pushing her back, she's getting those knees up, isn't she, Cooper? They're matching each other at the moment. I do like that position in there from Izzy, though. Locking yeah, that hand up, tying that arm in again, pushing it to the inside. She's isolating it. Allows a gap for her left knee to climb up into the ribcage, right? There's a lovely left knee there landed. Straight to clinch. Let me tell you, this is just the first of five. Yeah, two minute rounds. So 10 minutes on the clinch would tire out the best of us, wouldn't it? So, Izzy for me is the stronger in the clinch with the hand positioning. They're matching each other with the knees at the moment. Heavy knees, and this is round one. Usually people are very slow start. Yeah, Tove Cooper's just trying to take the inside lock, but without pushing her hips out, she's not gonna get any space. So Wilkins is happy to be on the outside, isn't she? She's got a lovely little grip there, hands lock. Round. Second of five. Round number two. Let's see if it goes back to the clinch like round one. I'm interested in that, yeah. Just thinking that myself. They didn't do they didn't do a lot of data collectioning as we as we mentioned. They just kind of went at it in the clinch. Straight back in the clinch. Wilkins went wide on that. She had a good position, didn't she? But wrapped her right arm around the neck. She's really trying to work the hand control. That's what's pointing out for me, in my opinion. That's how Izzy's constantly trying to get good, good hand, hand control. Tafe going for the lock. Tafe Cooper. Izzy's collected though when she's under pressure. She enjoys it in there, doesn't she? She seems very relaxed. Trying to lock Izzy up, but Izzy's still landing those knees. Wilkins, just pressure fighter, isn't she? She's not taking a backward step. Oh, she's now starting to push her back into her own corner. Unloads hands and kicks. Is Cooper going to crack under pressure here? She's, she's coping well so far, Danny. She's still returning back. She still is. Still fighting. Still fighting, yes. Just get a feeling that Wilkins just ups the pace. I'm not sure that Cooper will have the... Uh, gears to go into that she has. Everything that everything that Izzy's throwing is down the center. Especially if you look at where she's throwing her knees, it's down the middle, which is a higher scoring technique and it wins your opponent. It takes the air out of their lungs. It takes the it just smashes the abs up. And once the stomach goes, it goes. So how many of those knees can take take? She's controlling her as well, isn't she Wilkins? The hand positioning, yep. She's bullying her a little bit in the clinch, isn't she? I don't know whether it was a plan from Izzy to start fast. But she's locking up beautifully. See where she's got her head and the hands behind Tafe's head. She's locking her up and kneeing strong. Don't forget, ISK. Now we're coming into the more important rounds, three, four, and five. Let's see if Tafe ups her levels. She needs to get more lively for me. She looks a little bit too relaxed sometimes, um, Cooper. Lovely right hook there from Tafe. That's better. Cooper Much better. with a very good left kick to set up the knee. But then back to clinch we go. And Wilkins wants to be a clincher. I think if it's not broke, don't fix it. That's it. The knees are vicious. Look how she pulls her hip and gives it an almost 180 degrees straight into the ab cage. There's no point seeing if she's stronger on the outside. If she's stronger than the clinch, then carry on doing it. It's better to be safe. It's working for Izzy. 
Proper clinch, what? Well, good to see these girls executing it well. Timisley referee will not break it. Well, he's as productive as this as well, will he? If they're idle and not throwing anything, he'll break it. But both girls are throwing their knees, they're working. Yeah, the hands the are moving. Clinch, right? Active clinch. Lovely white hands. Right hand team. from Wilkins. Gave her something to think about. Doesn't wear the punches well. She kicks out of there. Can't help thinking if Wilkins just ups the pressure and gets her hands and lets go. She'll another, crack. another flurry of punches might do it. Yes. Tapes backed into a corner for the majority of these, these rounds so far. Izzy's doing a good job of controlling the middle. She's tough though, isn't she? Yeah, very Cooper. tough. Very strong. Really tape's, tough. Tape's still going. She's throwing back. Nothing in these knees, by the way. They're just lifting them up and slapping with the inside it's, of the thigh. They're sparring these, aren't they? It's more, more, more scoring, isn't it? Yes. There's the push kick from Wilkins to keep her in that corner. There's the right hand. I'd like to yeah, see. Now, getting told to punch straight down the middle. I've seen Izzy's obviously been kneeing down the centre in the middle of the stomach. I'd like to see her start throwing a few body shots. She threw the body kick there, Joe. Really effective. There's that push kick. As she's coming into the clinch, maybe a straight hand down the middle, right on the belly button. As she does that, she unloads with a flurry of punches. It's pressure, though, isn't it? Pressure. Constant pressure. I think she needs a bit of craziness this round, right? 100%. Because you've got to upset Wilkins, who's so calm as she comes forward. Cold-blooded, this girl. Tafe right now, like then, she should circle off. Get out of them corners, because that's where Izzy wants her. Izzy wants her on the ropes, exactly where she is now. That's where Izzy is most comfortable. Wilkins executing the knees again. Cooper good on the back foot, though, throwing shots all the time. Trying to get rid of her with the push kicks, but they're not going to move a girl like Wilkins. She's tough. She comes forward and on the soft balance up. I think she wants clinch all the time, Joe. Right combat corner, shouting. She's hurt. Pressure on. And I, I, I think that's the right game plan. Pressure on. Beautiful body kick there by Izzy. Landing straight across the summit. Tafe then again backed into the corner. It's never good when you're in your own corner. Just getting pushed in there. It's like Wilkins has just come to the centre of the ring, gone, get back in your corner, girl, and just held her there. She's got to get out of there, Joe. It's control, and that's what the judges look for. Are you controlling your opponent? Are you controlling the centre of the ring well? The, a jab back to her corner. She's got to do more than this, Cooper. Wilkins will take a comfortable win here, I'm sure of that. Cooper's got the skill set. She needs to be pinging her legs up, getting those body kicks up when they're on the outside, because so far she's losing in the clinch. She needs to win on the outside. Wilkins controlling her, push kicking her back. Back into the clinch again. Not as accurate with those knees when she dives in, though. Get on her, Izzy! Come on, Izzy! Get on her! I think Wilkins starting to tire now. It's a very fast-paced fight. It's a game of control, isn't it, at the moment? Good technician, Tafe Cooper, though. You can see where she's got the wins from. She's calm and collected in there. Wilkins is a level up for me. Kick goes up to the head. Game plan's gone, hasn't it? It's time to fight. Yes, yeah, she needs to fight. Oh, she's doing that. Good kick up to Wilkins' body. She's kicking now, but... She needs can't to stop the forward momentum. You can't stop Wilkins coming forward. She needs to find something to almost scare her into walking forward. No matter how far she walks back to the corner, Wilkins is there. She's not damaging her though, Wilkins, is she? she she's not hurting her. Tafe's, Tafe's still there. She's still yeah, coming. Yeah, she is. She's tough. Wilkins controlling her a lot with that lead left push kick as well, isn't she? She's strong getting her, she's getting her where she wants to be. Strong in the legs, Wilkins, isn't she? Like we said earlier, she looks like a, a strong base. She looks very solid at this weight. With those orange plaits in her hair are giving her some superpowers in this fight, Joe. Representing the colours of her gym. Yes. That's loyalty, my friend. Cooper makes a miss, but doesn't make a play on that occasion. Let's go, Izzy! Let's go! Yeah. 
good left yeah. hand, but Wilkins goes forward. She looks tired to me, Izzy Wilkins, now. She's done enough, though, hasn't she? Round number five. She started fast. She well, we started in the clinch, didn't we? There's so much clinch, and anyone watching back home on Leapfrog Fight TV right now, trust me, the clinch is so tiring under the spotlights, isn't it? It's constant tension. It's constant energy use. You do 10 minutes of that, especially with your adrenaline pumping, it, it takes the life out of you. Clean kick in there from Wilkins. Good knee. Followed by body kick by Tafe. Good round, though, for Cooper. She's fired some good shots. Shown that she's worthy of this stage. She's fired more kicks. Knee up the middle from both girls. It's been a good matchup. Wilkins just has looked bigger and stronger through the whole fight for me. Your ringside judges have reached an unanimous decision. So let's hear it for the new ISKA English champion. In the white corner, Izzy Wilkins. And let's raise the roof for our runner up, Tyve Cooper. Izzy, Izzy, where are you going? I am so sorry. Any champion on Combat Fight Series has to speak on the stage. Relentless pressure from the very off. Pretty even fight record before. Laid it down, didn't you? Uh, was the corner just telling you pressure all the time? Yeah, pressure, teeps, big right kick. That was the game plan. You seem to just push her back from a minute into her own corner. So you're going to stay there, girl. You're not coming out of that corner for this fight. And as a result, your ISKA English champion. I don't know what to say. Thank you. <laughs> oh I won't cry. I won't cry. I'll cry after. Please cry. I can't cry on demand, but thank you, everyone, for the support. Thank you, Mum and Josh and Martin and my team. Yeah, I love you all. Thank you. This girl is Pride Combat. The colours are orange, of course. She's done the hair and everything. Pride Combat Fitness all the time. Thank you very much. Izzy Wilkins is ISK, British champion. Let's hear it for her one more time. <laughs>